Howdy everybody, Keith Warren, and thanks for watching this video brought to you by Barber Creek, America's premier shooting school. All right, so at Legends Ranch, they have something new, and I like new stuff. This is a Dragon Claw 50 caliber big bore air rifle because I'm gonna be taking a buck using this Dragon Claw, and then I'm gonna take does using six different methods of hunting. Here we go. <laughs> That's a done deal. Now, I'm gonna check zero on five different methods before I go on the hunt. I'm gonna use a revolver. I'm gonna use a crossbow and then a muzzle loader and a slug shotgun and then a center fire rifle. Let's go ahead and check zeros on those guys and then we'll go on the hunt. All right, so in the lines they had a draw. I already got my butt knocked down and so the first thing I drew was a muzzle loader. So let's get this thing started. All right, so to get this thing going, the first doe that comes in, this mature, He's in trouble. Boy, there's no wind this morning. I would think the deer would be on the move, but so far it's been pretty slow. We just had a little young buck walk in, but he's not what we're looking for. Oh, look at the turkey coming in. She's watching those turkeys. Here it goes. Her down. Got her. Good. Good. That's one down. That's one down. Here you go. Hold that old smoke pole. This, that's a nice doe right there. A nice old doe. What do you think about this shot? Perfect shot. Yeah. Great job. I cannot believe that she made it that far, but that's good. That's good, one down, that's the kind we gotta take. That's good, the doe challenge is underway. Now we're gonna switch to the rifle. So part of the doe challenge is to shoot a doe with a centerfire rifle. The good news is that ought to be the easiest thing to take a doe with. The bad news is conditions are not real good to take anything right now. Boy, look at his hooves, they're all muddy. That's a nice young buck right there. Let him get a chance to get a hold of one. That'll be pretty impressive. Are those toes moving back in there? There's a couple of them back there. Three of them. Four of them. You see them, Kevin? Yeah, they're coming in. One of them a shooter? They look pretty mature. I would think so. Okay. No, 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 don't shoot. Do not shoot. The first one, right? She's looking away right now. Yes. Yeah, she's behind a tree for me. How far me. she need to walk? How far she got to go? Five, five feet. Okay. Right there. Whoa! Hey! Hey! Better going down. Down she goes. Boom! Well done. Well done. All right. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. That's another one on the way to completing the Great Lakes Doe Challenge. What do you say? Let's go ahead and take her back to the lodge and then grab that 4570 and head to another line. The Great Lakes Doe Challenge continues. We're going to get this girl taken care of and see if we can put that pistol to work tonight. One, two, three. Okay, so the next challenge here is going to be this is 4570. This is a Magnum Research single action revolver. And it shoots a big cartridge. Take a look at that. I mean, a big cartridge. Now, Robert wound up ordering this pistol right here from Online Outfitters. And it is a pretty cool revolver. Oh, 
That was awesome. It was a long shot too. But I'm pretty sure I saw her fall right over there in that set of woods. You know, one of the things people are always asking for is more handgun hunts, more handgun hunts. Well, you just got one. This is a 4570. It's a big handgun, big single action revolver. How far was it? 50? At least, yeah. yeah I mean, it was a good poke yeah. out there. Now coming up, what do we have? We got the crossbow? The crossbow. Ooh, now that's gonna be a challenge. But I am up for the challenge. So let's go ahead and get this girl loaded up. And uh, tomorrow, we'll pick up the crossbow and see what we can do with it. Oh, that's the biggest one yet, I believe. I've got my reconnaissance camera set right here and the blind is about 25 yards behind me. So what I'm doing here, I want to set this up. Got several trails coming in here to this food plot. And we're going to monitor this for the next couple of days and see if somebody interesting is coming in. We're uh, in a food plot and there's a travel corridor right back here behind us. And we're hoping that uh, they're gonna be coming right out here in front of us for some good video and a good shot. Crossbow is coming up next. So as far as the broad it goes for this crossbow, I'm using the crown by Thorn. If you take a look at this, it's one of the most wicked looking broad edge you've ever seen in your life. The reason why I'm using this broad edge is because it makes a small hole, but it is devastating. You could see that arrow on the video. We can play that back on slow-mo and see how come I talked about the broadhead earlier. This is the crown. So take a look at that hole right there. I mean, it's, it is devastating. That is a, a small broadhead, but it's got lots of little blades on it, as you can see. And again, the reason why I chose a small broadhead because the kinetic energy in this little crossbow arrow, it just isn't there compared to heavier arrow. So it's all about shot placement and having a nice sharp broadhead and uh, a smaller one will go through with less kinetic energy. So next on deck is a doe to be taken with an air rifle and you cannot beat this air rifle at all. I've got my dragon claw and I've got it powered with a thermion, a thermal scope. This thing right here, I've killed lots of stuff with it. And so hopefully tonight we can add to that list. Is that a doe right here coming in? Right here at us it looks like. Call the shot if that's a doe, I'm gonna try to take it. I think that's a wrap right there. Talk about blowing her heart out. Holy smokes. Look at that. She went down right there. Oh yeah. There's blood all over the ground. I'm telling you right now, you're not gonna, you're absolutely not gonna believe the hole in this deer. Uh, you know, I shot a deer with a crossbow just earlier in order to take the step up for the challenge, but take a look at that. That's the XV made by the folks over at Thorn Broadheads. And I gotta show you this hole. Now, seriously, if you've got a, if you've got a weak stomach, you gotta, you gotta promise me you're not gonna get ticked off at me. This is the reason why I shoot that broadhead. Take a look at that. That hole is absolutely, I mean, it's gigantic. As a hunter, that's what we want. We wanna make clean, ethical kills, and one that'll kill them very quickly. And, you know, we're shooting arrows, folks. These are arrows out of a, out of a 50 caliber Seneca Dragon Claw air rifle, an air rifle, and it does that. So, I mean, I have a tremendous amount of experience shooting these air rifles, and I hope that kind of makes you a believer in them. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. I don't care whether you're hunting deer at Legends Ranch or you're hunting Cape Buffalo over in Africa, the air rifle is a phenomenal piece of equipment that will get it done. So anyway, we're, uh, we're slowly coming to the end of our doe challenge. Tomorrow, I've got to take the slug shotgun, and if the wind's right, we got a really good spot for it. But right now, we're gonna take this thing back to the house and take care of her.
there's a doe right there in front of us. Came out of nowhere. It's standing up on that mound. Let's see what we have here. Y'all ready? I'm ready when you are. Okay, here we go. Like that. I think that's what a shotgun does right there, folks. That kind of K-odor, wouldn't you think? That right there. No tracking there. All right, so this is a real good doe to finish up this doe challenge. I mean, she's a big, mature, old doe. Perfect one to take for management purposes. All right, so if you're looking at this shotgun, wonder what it is. It's a Savage 12 gauge bolt action shotgun. It made a hole in her. Pretty devastating. <laughs> Look at that hole. Pretty devastating for sure. You know, on the doe challenge, we started out using all different kinds of methods. I mean, Robert's got all the stuff up here from the Dragon Claw air rifle to the shotguns and muzzle loader, the handgun, crossbow, you name it. That's a challenge. I like to be challenged and I like to do management. And so it was a good way for us to uh, do a nice story. And we're going to be able to provide a lot of good meat to a lot of people that are going to need it. Howdy everybody, Keith Warren here for Barber Creek, America's premier long range hunting and shooting school. Barber Creek is one of America's top long range instructors and life size animal targets out to a thousand yards. Enjoy a climate controlled classroom and shoot house, luxurious lodging and four course meals as you train with fellow outdoorsmen. Our level two master course puts you in real hunting positions off a of tripod, bipod and backpacks with 25 life-size animal targets from 340 yards out to 1,670 yards on six stations. You'll become confident shooting at angles, reading wind and terrain, and shooting across valleys. When that once-in-a-lifetime shot only comes once, you can't afford to miss. Contact Barber Creek at 334-845-0000.